Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fan 4 The New Order. So, it's been... Uh, it's time of recording four days since uh, the last episode has gone posted, which I apologize for. Um, but here we are, we are back. Uh, last episode, if you don't remember, because again, it was like almost a week ago. Uh, Salzir died, and we're, we're, we're starting to make some progress. Also, I should... Um... Okay, that, we don't care about that. We'll read this. Mo we'll read this in a moment. Uh, the death of Salazar, or Salazar, gives declares his independence to so the government of Iberia from the Ministry of Territory of Algeria. The loss of Castillo Salazar is a tragedy. You'll miss his steadfast respect for the nature of his people, I'm sure. However, his death is exactly why I see fit to prepare and send this message to you. I have strong reasons to believe that with the death of one of the Gadilos, Iberia will shortly collapse. I by no means wish for this to happen, though the possibility of its occurrence is one that I cannot deny. With the Union to the collapse, it would be signals to the Italians and others that I am vulnerable. And without your protection, this state would surely wither away. Because of this, I am... In this letter, I am prepared to notify you that our diplomatic relationship is henceforth null and void in order to prevent the interrupt station of relations. We will instead terminate them now in a prepared manner. Algeria will fall under the sovereign leadership of Yezgodad. Uh, all Algerian territory under Iberian occupation will be seized and reincorporated into the Algerian state. All diplomatic ties to Iberia are formally severed. Yeah, no, we're going to go to war with you. That, that That's just, uh, of course we are. Uh, of course, we're still a little bit reformist. Gibraltar Dam will be done in 21 days once this monument is actually finished. And our troops that were in there did get pushed out immediately. This was, this was what people were saying could happen. And it now has happened. Repair our forces. I mean, you still have like a pretty neat flag. But let's move our troops down as fast as humanly possible. How many troops do you actually have? Four. Look, if you were going to fight the Iberians, I'd recommend you have more than four divisions. That's just uh. Just, just a hint. Are we still? Yeah, we're still exemplary. Like we're still an incredibly stable nation. I guess we'll flow over North Africa, but I, I, we're we're still pretty uh, secure. You guys fly down here, close air support, close air support. I guess full uh, air support you over over um all of Algeria should be pretty good, I would say. Again, we are at war. So if we don't end the... We have six months to top all years and restore out... So we have six months to win the war. And I'm like, we should have more than enough time to win this... Like, six months in um, um in a new order? Six months is actually like an incredibly long time. So we'll just prepare our invasion like this. And I'm sure nothing bad could happen. Your tank division, you actually drive pretty fast. So you know what, you drive up, take this city, and then you're gonna go down to uh, Bona. And like, other than that, like you should basically be good to go. I mean, the tank drive is actually pretty fast already, so thumbs up there. Oh no, they're stopping our tank division. You could have seen this one coming. Yeah, the troops are already making uh, the moves they need to be making. You actually, you couldn't even stop our tank. You tried. But you could not actually get it done. And then we will crush you. You are now dead. And yeah, I know you suck. So yeah, it wasn't really much of a uh, difficult proposition at all. Yeah, you're, you're very much dead. Can I get both of these? Apparently I can't. Research that. The Tino Buslila Cave. A teenage boy in Asturias has discovered a cave with walls covered in strange paintings of horses. Archaeologists were initially skeptical that the paintings were genuine, but an excavation of the Tito Bastillo Cave has revealed that not only are they real, they are starsely old. In addition to horses, uh, or current charcoal paintings of deer and bison have been discovered, one particularly odd painting appears to depict some sort of sea monster, perhaps a whale depicted by the artist who had only heard stories of them. Most of the artwork, particularly those near the cave entrance, dated around 10,000 years ago. But a small painting found deep within the caves are well over 20,000 years old. Potentially the oldest artwork in human history. In addition to the painting, several harpoons made of bronze suggest a society was both frequently fished and uh, frequently hunted. Most impressive of all artistic and perhaps ceremonial item was found a part of the stag's antler carved to look like a life like goat's head. This is not the first time ancient caves discovered in Asturias. The age and complexity of the art here depicts that a culture uh, of early humans may have been much more sophisticated than previously assumed. Archaeologists are sure to study this cave for years to come. There you go, we found a pretty sweet ass cave. And Death of Salazar. 
you go here. You move your way towards this city. So again, we're going to go for a worthy successor. We'll find out who shall replace Alizir in uh, Iberian politics. A procession. A gun carriage limped down Yavela de la Cadillos uh, with his possession stretching a full length of thought fair. Representative of the Civil Guard, Federal Army, Spanish and Portuguese Home Guards, and Exencia kept a slow pace in the marching. Even in Spain's heartland, the sorrow for Portugal's finest son was genuine. None of the many groups that terrorized Iberia dared to make its move here, lest they invoke the remaining Cadillo's wrath. Me, General, uh, we are going to exit uh, Madrid's limits. We can return to El Prado now. Franco stared down at, at his personal order. Oh, no. Okay. Franco stared down at his personal orderly as to indicate any further insistence on the matter would get him reassigned to Western Sahara. Now, fearing the televised cameras had caught the change in his facial expression, the horseman Cadillo turned to face the sky. As the expression marched across the Iberian Nintendo border, the expression of the grief became much more intense. Entire towns went out to see the coffin of the man who determined Portugal's destiny for 42 years. Carmen had told Franco that riding a horseback for 500 kilometers would be inadvisable for a man of 80, but he did not care. Once they reached the Lake Adilos hometown in Ramirio, Franco remembered reading about his appointment as finance minister at the uh, last page of newspaper in 1926, receiving his congratulations 10 years later, fighting with him over Spanish intervention during the war. Negotiations over the Union is calming down during the Antelope disaster. Franco's heart sunk in a way that had not done since his youth. Now, however, it was not time for that. After his orderly was replaced by a Portuguese counterpart when they crossed the border, Franco was the only member of Madrid possession left by the time he had stepped off his horse to follow the coffin into the chapel. And the Gibraltar Dam uh, opening ceremony. The event took place only a uh, day after the dam itself was finished. Even on Stratford's North, crowd numbering in the hundreds attended to watch the ceremony, with many television stations recording the event as well. While there were relatively few people presented at the ceremony in person, just about all of Iberia was watching along. The opening ceremony began at noon in front of a building which administered the dam. The door was blocked by silver by a sliver of red colored tape, and next to it Franco next to it stood Franco holding a pair of hedge shears. He turned to the ground and delivered solar speeds about how Iberia had done what seemed impossible and beat Germany by finishing their own construction. Then, the tape was cut. The door opened. The Cathedral walked alone towards the covered object. The tarp pulled back as he arrived. There are many figures of the statue. Uh, many. There are many stomps coming together to form one large... Okay, no. Let me just reread re re that. There were many figures on the statue. Me uh, there are many stomps coming together to form one larger stomping a small man with a swastika across his chest. It was not particularly large and was somewhat off to the side. It was the only really visible if one looked at it or was being shown it. Someone out of view after the sign of, uh, after a signal from Franco seemed to activate the statue and it turned out that it was a fountain. Water gently leaked from the pommel of the statue as well out of the eyes of the swastika clad man. The band began to triumphantly play a series of songs. The rest of the celebrations lasted until late afternoon, only stopping as the sun set. So, how to political power. We are now no longer getting Gibraltar Dam, which is negative 15% resource in the market. We're getting a negative 20%. Um, construction speed goes up. And there we go. Overall, we're still, I mean, our, our um, stability is probably never going to fall. Fingers crossed. Knock on wood. At the end, at Um Cadillo. Franco's father had never loved him. Yet, another thing that had set the two men apart. Even now, a desire to be buried alongside his parents unsettled the generalismo. He tried to uh, repress his father's slight after he became Cadillo, ignoring him for the lost cause that was his brother Raymond. He had just well managed to do it by the time it was his turn to speak. Antonio, principles of national sovereignty, great united struggle against the Red Subversion, decent hardworking men with a sense of humor. Franco could not stop himself from thinking about the man. He had been his rival, a massive pain whenever, uh, whenever he got any of his holier-than-now ideas through. That was for certain. He could feel his skin being burned by the intensity of the camera set up, as the cathedral, uh, no, set up at the cathedral as he moved on to finish his speech. But most of all, the cathedral snuffed ever so quietly as he, as the sentiments overwhelmed the carefully practiced emotion that he had adopted, and his very real squeaky Galician voice could control. He was my friend. No outside Iberia paid much attention to what he said. Talking for Amiria was all about the speculation of what sort of ailment was suffering uh, for him to be wearing his characteristic sunglasses indoors. Behind the opaque sun spectacles, Franco cried. Okay, we finished our Gibraltar Dam. You move towards this city. I mean, how long until this is done? This war is going to be... You're 65%. We still have 
150. Yeah, we, we, we have more than enough time to get this done. You move here and here. You move down to these cities. One of you goes to capture this city back. And then you just kind of march your way down here. At this point, we're basically just doing the uh, good old-fashioned victory point uh, rushing. Always a uh, favorite. Then you're going to go down to this city. Buick is going to fall very soon. And then you're going to come down south, take these areas. Our forces are moving in. How long? I mean, what are you at right now? Oh, never mind. We won. Fantastic. So I guess now we'll put you back on the border here. And now you are led by Federico Gomez de Salazar. I'm guessing his son maybe makes sense. I mean, they have the same last name. I guess that doesn't really mean anything because you could have the same last name as somebody else. And I guess there's no reason to put more money into the damn budget. We will still have to make. We still have to keep making payments, but that's really not a major diff, uh, deal. So yeah, let's ignore you. Ignore you. We're still reformist, but overall. I would say things are looking pretty, pretty good for us. And we'll also prepare an invasion of Libya, even though I don't think we'll ever actually make any kind of uh, war here. A new world wonder. The eighth wonder of the world. The newest title bestowed upon the Gibraltar Dam seemed to be fast becoming the most notable. Um, originating with a statement during the dance opening ceremony, the title was spread like wildfire throughout newspapers, televisions, and word of mouth. Or coming back to the great achievements of civilization of old, it seems to have captured the public imagination. The administration has, of course, seized upon the title with all haste, rebranding itself a suit to public in image surrounding it. Moreover, it seems to be working. Tourists are flocking to Al Alicars and Tangiers to get a glimpse of the magnificence, uh, from pictures on top of the Rock of Gibraltar to, uh, to rides on its tram system. Any tourist attraction needs an eye-catching title, and Gibraltar Dam is now worthy of its is now one worthy of its size. As time progresses, it seems clear that Franco would never find out if his improved results were a sign of a trend. Cadillo Salazar's years untimely on unfortunate death uh, had prevented the Cadillos from having another match. The Spaniard had arguably won his first victory by fluke, and now he would never have a chance to ha have a hard-won triumph. Even though there are, were many other, uh, no, plenty of other things from Mercedes Salazar nearby, the chessboard they played on had a special appeal. It was a hobby, limited as it was. It was far better to remember the old man for their games of chess rather than the many arguments over Iberian policy. Franco took some time to make one last examination of the chessboard. It was a plain, uninteresting design, white and black pieces on a white and black uh, board. He had set up, he set it up at the Portuguese Cadillo's preferred table one final time. He decided to never use the board again, so the memories it provided would remain untainted. We do have three in political power. I don't know if there's really anything we can like use it for right now. And we don't have enough stability. We have like no stability. Flat taxes, two-year draft, no voting. I mean, poverty is still pretty bad, I will admit that. So you have two candidates. Uh, Cadillo, career politician, long since held various forms under Salazar. He's seen by as a mild reformer. Option available is a man known as Antonio de Montaviga, a highly educated career politician who served a time under Salazar. Unlike Zentil, though, he is much more ruthless in endeavor. He would certainly be an effective force, but if we ever found ourselves needing to outflank him, uh, he's also been greater ambitions than that of though. And re but reform is simply n okay. Well, if you if you don't like reform, we'll go with the person who actually uh, might play along with our agenda in the future. We're no longer getting military austerity. That's okay. A worthy successor to be torn on such a decision would have to be suited for the aging Spaniard uh, Cadillo. Uh, prefer uh, okay. Perfectly before his rival for a beam of dominance had died. Now, standing uncertainly uh, alone atop a house of crumbling cards, he wished the former technocrat was beside him. He'd always had a clever comment ready for a situation like this. Frank could almost hear the faint whisper of his voice. Yet, he was alone. Sitting in a large conference room surrounded by empty-faced bureaucrats and lackeys who could not re uh, rely on for critique or sound advice. What did they know about the severe strain put upon the Union by the precarity of the situation? What did they know of the Portuguese people's mournful cries and significance to the health of the future of this nation? It was on him to hold Iberia together in the face of, of an ugly and unrelenting world. Hopefully alongside him, someone br to bring joys and rigor of ruling back to the old man's heart. Brief me again on two candidates. An almost hushed murmur uh, made many 
May Manny, even though he's that close to the usually imposing military man, lean in to listen intently. A short pause followed, as Drew was unsure of who should speak first. Seeing interjection and quiet withdrawal to the man, the head of the table discussing was promptly started nonetheless. To get a little bit more stability. We, still want to, we definitely do, do want to get rid of Triple Sovereignty at some point. Like, if, if we're lucky. I will do final preparations. Yeah, I think, like, the Lone Candilo is... Pop Frank Salazar's popularity upon his death may influence the outcome of the decision. So I guess maybe if, um... If Salazar is really unpopular when he died. CF at victory in uh, Canada. Tommy Douglas. So basically the NDP have won the election in Canada. It's, it's more than they can say that they've ever done in, uh, in real life. It's going to be political power. So you are going to be replacing the Iberian Council with Marco de la Nez. Effective change. Are we going to lose like 30% stability with this? Because that seems pretty bad. Just like Sample, the Iberian Council. Okay, so yeah, we lost, we lost like 15% stability. Not... The 30 that I thought might happen. But still not great. The Pragmatist. A quiet day marked the welcome change to the fevers events that had plagued the last few days since Alexander's death. Sat alone in his space's office, Cathedral Franco silently contem uh, cont contemplated his choice for his successor to Alexander. It has not uh, been easy. The pragmatic Portuguese have always been hushed voice of reason that he could rely on even if he despised it. He would miss it. His senior staff had been excited the opportunity to now further centralize the regime, ensuring maximum control of the population he might need ready for war or worse. Yet, Franco knew he needed more than a figurehead to keep Portugal loyal within the Union. His final choice had been the scholarly Massilio Cantio, a protege of Salazar who already lived long life inside the world of politics. His moderate former stance may be an issue that could offset the stability brought from securing Portugal, as hardliners might seem as a step too far in the wrong direction. It would be a difficult matter even for his eventual successor to contend with. He sighed. This was not a world that was ready, readily embraced the language of hope anymore. Well, hopefully we're not making the wrong choice. But again, if we're going to go for a reformist, like he is the only one that... Of the, of the two choices we had, he's the only one that actually makes any sense. Yeah, okay, we'll shrink this as well. I mean, we're, we're still reformist. So I'm assuming, like, once we can do the Grand Inauguration, we'll be looking uh, pretty, pretty good. Fingers crossed. So what's, what's everybody else doing? I mean, Germany... I think Germany, like, ran out of events. I don't know if they can do anything else. Like, I think they I think they finished everything until, like, the, uh, the oil crisis happens. What I think it was in, like, 1971 is, is when it happens. Until that event fires, like, there's not really much they can do. Yeah, Scotland's not doing too, too much. I mean, Scotland could actually be an interesting campaign. Because, I mean, they have, um, a short focus tree. So, you can probably, like, crank it out pretty quickly. Maybe that's something we will, we'll think about in the future. I mean, who else actually has focus trees in this mod? Again, China does. I mean, I think we asked this question a few episodes ago. But, like, China, Scotland, and... Maybe somebody else in Russia? I'm not too sure. Okay, so apparently the rest of Nanjing Alliance General Sun Young. Rumors of great conspiracy spread like wildfire. Take a shoot to convent uh, to acknowledge the Dalai situation, calling the imperialism in the direction of pan-Asian harmony or an anti-Nippon conspiracy. Okay, so we'll see if uh, China might try to break free of Japanese influence. I'm not really too sure. Again, you guys are all still technically at war with you. And I don't think that's ever going to end until eventually one of these guys starts invading uh, for the rest of the territory. We'll just kind of have to see, right? Like, people are saying you should... People have been saying that we should just uh, use the console to basically uh, forcibly end those wars. Or at least force those people out of the faction. Which I guess we, we could do. You know, let's, let's do it right now while we have time. Do you have any territory? Like, are you... Basically, I'm asking, like, are you occupying any territory? 
Yeah, transfer that land over. You're not occupying any land that you shouldn't be. Transfer that land to you. Transfer that land to you. And I think that basically should be it. I mean, if you're still at war with these guys, if you're only at war with the two in the south, then I think it's less of a problem. Okay, and turn this off. Hide the menu. Yeah, so maybe now they will be able to get some other stuff done. The final preparations. An event so momentous and so grandiose that it can only be compared to the pomp as the crowning of the past absolute autocrats. Yet this is not some medieval ceremony of authority, but a modern le legitimization of a regime so wet behind the ears that it has not yet raised a single generation successfully. No one knew the importance of the appearance of longevity and peace as much as the Spanish Cadillo, who had taken a surprise of liberty, uh, surprising liberty of inspecting the construction of Lisbon himself. He counted the diverse forms of symbolism he had ordered to quietly include on the various stages and locations where the rule of the regime he had helped build could finally be stabilized. Pillars of society like the church could not be forgotten in a historic event such as this, as there being the hurried tussle of many workers uh, conscripted from all over the Union. He allowed himself a small smile of relief. Soon, it would, all, it would be the end of his road. He now just wished that his rival could, stood, could have stood beside him in this glorious moment. But I think that at least for right now, it's going to be a good time for us to end this video. So thanks everybody for watching. Please anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. Not to forget to thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe. And goodbye.